Morning guys, beautiful Sunday morning here in Milwaukee. You got my boy Rob over there on a the fat boy and we're actually going to go meet everybody at the Trade Hotel because we are going on a 140 mile ride on the brand new CVOs. We had a great time yesterday. I was out with my boy Danny from Canada. We went to the Foo Fighters concert. It was amazing, packed crowd. I think like almost 50,000 people. Insane. It's oil. Don't go on that, it's oil. oil. Yeah, this truck is leaking everywhere. Look, watch. Holy cow, that truck was just pissing oil. All right, we're here. There, you got the line of brand new 2023 CVOs. We'll see you in a bit. This is where like they have all the loaner bikes and the new CVOs here and we're gonna like I said go on a ride. You got Tiffany over there. <laughs> Matt, PJ, how you doing? John, how are you? How you doing, Alan? What's going on, buddy? How are you, my man? <laughs> Fast Johnny comes roaring up, and I'm like, oh, I know you who gotta, that is. You got to. Come on. You have to, right? Yeah, I know. You got to. It's mixy. It's, it's a Harley, things. man. We're in Milwaukee. Come yeah. on. Yeah. What a lineup here, huh? Got Rob over there doing his thing. Look at Q. <laughs> oh, that Travis Wyman right there, King of the Baggers, Harley Davidson race team. Hey, I know you. <laughs> you guys look good in there. That's one cool dude right there. Appreciate it, man. What's happening? We're stuck in there. Jeez. Oh, here we go. Yeah, with this. Guys, what's, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? How you doing? Likewise. Yeah, doing Always nice to see you, man. What's up, Travis? Great concert, huh? All right, we just got a safety briefing. We're in group one, so we're leaving at uh, 9 a.m. What are you rolling on? Road glide? <laughs> of course. Of course. We'll take the whiskey meat. Let's try to make sure we have a good mix of different colors and models between everybody. Yeah, so everybody sure. Can I'll switch. hop on this. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be in group one with Kyle Wyman right there. There's going to be two groups. Kyle is on the silver uh, road glide. I'm going to take the whiskey meat road glide. Q, you're taking Whiskey Neat Street Glide, right? Yeah. Taking that one. That's Cody Wyman right there. And you got all the bikes. You got Jay from Two Lane Life. You got Q from Riding and Wrenching. PJ. We got Tiffany Renee right there. You got Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle Rob. And you might not recognize this guy because he doesn't have his leather suit on. But right there is Kyle Wyman. What's up, brother? How you doing, my man? Good luck, man, all year. Good luck, brother. Absolutely. 
All right, should be fun, about 130 miles. And I'm gonna give you guys my absolute full review on this beauty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride, we're gonna stop for a couple photo shoots, then grab some lunch, and then it's like a two hour ride back through some nice Wisconsin country roads. We're gonna go over this bike because when me and Rob were in California, recording for the commercial for these bikes. If you guys didn't see that, check it out. We didn't really have enough time to ride the bikes. We couldn't even talk about it. Man, Kyle's tearing it up on the track, isn't he? Definitely go head on over to his uh, social media and check him out, man. He's doing great. And Travis, oh man, they're just tearing it up. Harley Davidson, baby. All right, we're gonna talk about it, but wow. I mean, look at this, guys. This, <laughs> this screen is insane. This bike is super, super comfortable with these bars. What do you guys think of it? Look at this color, boy. Wow. We're going to pull these in so I could get some air towards me. I love that design. It just makes so much sense. Before, they're like stationary. You guys know what I'm talking about, like on my bike. But these you could actually pull in. Love the switch positions. They just feel good. They're like really tactile. You, can, you know that you're putting the turn signal on it just feels really nice self-canceling that's fantastic so that's the one thing i was raving about is how awesome the switch cluster was designed it just makes so much sense how they redesigned everything it's fantastic if you guys remember like even the horn the horn was like up here by your thumb if you could see right how do you feel coming off of a 180 horsepower bike and hopping onto this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys probably wanted to know too. I had to ask them. <laughs> so you guys see like the horn is down here now. Left turn, right turn. You got your mode button. You got two joysticks, one on the right, one on the left. I believe that's ride modes. Oh no, that's for Okay, that's not ride modes. That button should bring me back. But then on top, you have to cycle through the settings right there, trip B. You got your fuel and your temperature, 73 degrees. And then your tire pressures. And then either nothing or you got nav. And back to MPG and trip A. And then right there, you got your traction control. And on the left on top, you got your cruise control. And then as far as for the high beams, it used to be here as well on the lights. You know, it was just in a bad position. Now you got it in the index finger right there. That's where it should be. And on the right hand side, uh, you obviously have the mode selector. You can switch modes. You got the run stop. You got your hazards on top and that's pretty much it. But me personally, I love how the switch clusters are designed now. I just love it. A lot easier, a lot easier. Especially like the horn. The horn used to be up top, kind of hard to, but now it's like right there. I just feel that's a great spot for where it is. You could just easily press the horn. Let's go over the bars. I would prefer them probably a little bit forward. Easy. Allen key right there. Loosen those four bolts up. Push the bars forward a little bit. And to tell you the truth, I don't even know if I would change them. The position of them, they're just really, really comfortable. They're a nice style, like taller ape hanger. I'm not sure how tall. I'm thinking maybe between either a 12 inch or a 14 inch rise. That's what I'm assuming, going from the clamp to the top of the bars, 12 to 14. So as far as wind protection, I mean, it's, let me see how it feels. Wow, yeah. So as, when you put that out, it just like totally deflects the wind like off your legs and shins but then obviously in cold temperatures but now yeah you could feel it kind of i could feel it on my chest more once you pull them in i'm going to keep them in today because it's kind of uh kind of humid you know it's nice and cool now because it's early in the morning definitely work that's a i like that i like that added feature We'll talk about how the bike looks later. I'm just going to tell you now, we're going to go over what I feel in the cockpit of this brand new Road Glide CVO. 
think I'm gonna talk about the engine, the braking, and the suspension later when we are after, I believe after lunch, when we're on some nice longer stretches of the road, we could pick up some speed and stuff, and then I'll, I'll let you know how all that is, all in kind of one segment. So, as far as the fairing, man, I don't know what people are thinking. On the pictures, all over my social media, since, you know, day one, I think it was June 7th, where, you know, the commercial, the reveal commercial came out, and I started posting, uh, pictures and stuff this fairing is not bigger than the fairings that we have on our bikes now 22 and previous years for me it feels and looks more compact the whole bike looks more compact so I don't know how people are actually looking at the fairing the front fairing or the bags and and stuff like that the ass end of the bike and saying that that it looks bigger it's not trust me when I tell you before you talk about the bike I'm telling you guys you got to go see the bike in person you know pictures do not do it just but see now what I also love check this out look at that that is ah I love that and the pockets are go down and deep they're not like in this way like on my bike on the 22 road glide mine kind of go that way and these like they're, they don't lock like I'm always worried about stuff falling out of them but this is this is really smart they lock you can't pick it up you got to push down on it it's got like a little hydraulic whatever actuator lifting it up slowly and the pockets go down and deep so there's kind of really no chance of anything you know falling out which I love so let's go on like you got also you got these plastic pieces here between the front fairing and the gas tank honestly I'm not sure what that does I have to talk to an engineer about that as far as how they designed the the wind flow uh, the airflow to come through this portion through those front ducts those two ducts and hit this but I could tell you right now the wind protection is really good on the bike. Once we get on a highway, I carry, we're only going, what, 37 miles an hour. So these bars just, uh, they're just a little too close for me because I'm tall, I'm six foot two inches tall. So I would like the bars. If the bars were probably about two inches forward, oh wow, it'd be perfect, perfect. The angle on them, they're just super comfortable. I've already mentioned, but I'll mention it again, that I just, the design, I don't know what collection this is, but as far as the hand grips go, uh, the mirrors, the floorboard the shifter peg brake pedal love it i just love the design i mean look at it it's, it's got like the whiskey neat kind of color accent in there love it all anodized it's beautiful i'll show you guys how to set the cruise control once we're on the freeway or on a longer stretch of road oh so that changes mode so i'm in road mode right now so you got you see the mode switch look on the left you got right uh road uh sport rain back to road we're gonna keep it in sport you know me <laughs> feels good man feels good all right i think we might be getting on to the freeway yes we are good feels good all right so we're doing about 77 78 miles an hour I could tell you one thing the bike feels really really stable at these higher speeds it feels really good you don't feel any kind of shimmy or wiggle or anything or kind of buffeting on the front the aerodynamics of the bike feel really really good it just feels like super confident so i'm six foot two inches tall and i'm sure there's going to be a plethora of uh aftermarket windshields definitely a clockworks windshield if you want to go a little taller i would but as far as the stock windshield and the fairing there is like almost no buffeting wind buffeting on, on my helmet or on my face yeah it just feels confident inspiring you know feel stable you know and you know me guys when you know we're on these long trips and we got to push a lot of miles you know we're doing that type of speed you know what I mean 70 80 miles an hour you know to 
crush those miles, you know? Yeah, it feels really good. Let me push these back in and see what happens. Yep, now I don't feel it here hitting me like right here on the chest. But it's hot. As soon as I pull that in, you could immediately feel the wind on my chest cool things off which i love yeah you wow it's night and day oh my god i could just feel my shirt moving all over the place once you push those out you don't feel anything that is great i love that honestly i wish i had that on my bike i wonder if somebody has something like that <laughs> here's another test for you guys doing 80 82 83 miles an hour. Let me set the cruise. We're tacking. Let me see. Let me bring it back up to 80. 80 miles an hour. We're not even quite tacking 3,000 RPM. If anybody wanted to know that. So also we were in a panel with a whole bunch of engineers that we're part of this program, part of the new 2023 CVO program. And they also said that this model with the VVT motor, it gets 40 miles per gallon. So the fuel range on this motorcycle is greater, which is huge for a touring bike. They also shaved, I believe, I think they said, if I'm not mistaken, 36 pounds. So this model is 36 pounds lighter than previous models on the road glide. And I believe it's 31 pounds lighter on the street glide. That's amazing. So they saved a lot of weight in using both top and bottom triple trees uh, instead of using steel. Now they're using aluminum. They saved a lot of weight there. I believe it was about like 15 pounds if I'm not mistaken. They saved like five pounds in just the wiring. Think about it, in just the wiring uh, and the wiring harnesses on the bike. So I'm doing 84 now, tacking just about, I don't know, maybe 3,050 RPM. So think about it, there's so much more technology in this bike, you would figure that you'd probably gain some weight in just the wiring, right, alone. But they actually lost five pounds in the wiring, which is amazing. So I got my crew set, you just press that top button and then you click the back of the button to set it. And then if you wanna go faster, you just hit the forward portion of the button. If you wanna go slower, you hit the back button. And obviously you guys already probably, I'm sure you guys know, you just either roll back on the throttle to kill it like that, it stops it or touch the back brake or the front brake. I'm not sure if the clutch, let me let me just see for you guys. So now it's set. Yep, the clutch works as well. 85, about 3,100 RPMs. Man, that's great. Bike just feels so smooth at yeah, 85. Like obviously I'm coming from a performance bagger with the 128 stage four chain drive, you know, two to one Chromeworks exhaust. So everything's, I mean, it's a lot different, you know what I mean? Once you start changing the bike and turning it into, you know, my suspension is plus two front and back, my bike sits taller. So it's it's totally changed. Now this is, this is the really the ultimate grand touring motorcycle, you know? In its stock form, everything is just super, you know, silky and smooth, you know, like the clutch, I got the, you know, obviously the heavy duty Evolution Industries clutch, so obviously it's hard, but you need that on bigger power bikes. But everything is just like, you pull the clutch in, it's super smooth, the throttle, super smooth. You know, I've always told you guys this, like if you're going to be, you know, like two lane life guys, you know what I mean? Crushing a lot, a lot of miles. Like we put a lot of miles on the bike too, but you know, we're into that performance bagger uh, genre but like if you guys are like the two-lane life where you're just crushing miles man I, you know if it was up to me too if I would just be 
crushing those miles, going on long trips like every week like they do. I, I think I would want this bike in the stock form, stock fashion, because you really don't want, you know, a super loud exhaust. You know, you want the super high re reliability of a Harley Davidson in stock fashion. You know, I've mentioned to you guys a lot in the past where, you know, the, the high performance builds, they're good as long as you keep them cool. But it's still not going to give you, no matter what anybody says, it's still not going to give you the reliability um, of a Harley Davidson in, in, in its stock fashion. So now this vent also, it's not a push button, it's just push forward or push down and it closes that vent. Let me see if that, if I can feel any difference there with buffeting or anything like that. Oh wow, that actually helps, holy cow. So if you have this closed, you start feeling a little buffeting on top of your head. We're doing about 60 miles an hour. But once you flip that forward, you see that vent, that door, it's directing that air even higher. And I guess pushing the air even higher and over the helmet. Very interesting, I like that. Or you could direct it onto yourself, obviously, if in those hot days. That's why I like this, because like, you know our bikes get hot, man, you know? And we're out in Sturgis, it's 105 degrees out at Devil's Tower or something like that, you know what I mean? You definitely want this. That is a huge help, because it's not just like a door where it opens and closes. You could actually direct the airflow. That's that's brilliant. That's what I like about it. So I'm definitely digging the uh, the airflow, the aerodynamics package on the fairing and on the accessories attached to this fairing. It would have been honestly, it would have been awesome to have either an electric windshield or an adjustable windshield. That would have just the icing on the cake. But it's not bad. I would probably go, I wouldn't go too much taller this to tell you the truth. I would probably go uh, if Clockworks, once Clockworks comes out with their windshield, I'd probably go maybe two inches taller, maybe. That's it. We're just doing a little over 80 back there and it's fine. No buffeting, nothing. You don't really feel anything hitting the helmet. And once you have these vents, like I said, closed in the other way and that um, up, directing the airflow up and over your head, two inch tall windshield forget it i don't think you're gonna feel anything oh what a road what a road look at that just looks like it goes into nowhere oh yeah oh yeah baby that thing pulls the <laughs> Look at him, yeah, buddy. <laughs> but that's the lake right there. It is, holy cow, it is massive. Absolutely massive. What park is this? Harrington Beach State Park. Wait till you guys see this. Oh my God. That's some route. Look at that.
right guys, so group one is all done. You see the area, absolutely beautiful, beautiful Lake Michigan. The water is absolutely crystal clear and it literally looks like an ocean. It is absolutely ginormous. <laughs> but anyway, we gotta head to lunch now. Um, and then we're gonna be doing some more riding and uh, just keep going with my review. So stay tuned, because we have a lot, lot more to cover on these beautiful, beautiful machines. Let me know, guys, which color do you like? For me, it's the Whiskey Neat. Oh, look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> Kyle's picking up the pace a little bit. <laughs> Easy does it there, buddy. <laughs> so as far as, let's talk about the seat a little bit. For me, for my height, again, this is only uh, my review because I am six foot two inches tall. Some of you guys may be taller, some of you guys may be shorter. But for me, I'm going to say I would definitely put a put a saddleman on it. Something that sits me up a little back further, maybe an inch or two, and a little bit taller. The comfort on it, I really don't think 130 miles is going to be enough to really give you guys a full kind of review on, on the seat. But as of now, it's com it's comfortable, definitely. You know, I would just like it, like I said, a little bit higher and a little bit back further from my height. It may be perfect for you guys, um, I'm gonna say that are a little shorter than six foot two inches tall. It probably just fit you right. I wanted to mention the um, the levers, they look fairly similar to the ones that we are all used to. But I will tell you, the right lever, as you guys can see right there, it's adjustable. You see it? And it's the breakaway style. The brake lever is adjustable, the clutch lever is not. So just so you guys know that. It'd be cool if they did the left one as well. So this way, you know, people, depending on the size of your hand, it'll be just easier to grab and squeeze and reach for it. Brake lever is <laughs> the most vital part that you will, are going to use. As far as how the bike feels, it just feels, it feels super premium. It feels super smooth, the trans, the throttle response, the engine, not a lot of vibration on the engine. It's really smooth, especially when you roll on to throttle. Definitely would need some highway pegs, you know, on the short engine guard. Definitely need some highway pegs so you could just stretch out. I would like to have them for longer trips. You know, but that's all like comfort stuff, you know, comfort accessories. We're, we were talking about like, I believe it's approximately 36 pounds lighter on the road glide and you could definitely feel it is so smooth but you can feel when it's like about 3500 rpm it just kicks in wow throttle is just so it's really really smooth like you bet you don't even feel like there's any kind of resistance on it or anything it feels nice let's do it <laughs> Let's see if I could beat Kyle Wyman off the start. <laughs> I'm telling you moves, guys. <laughs> Definitely has more than enough power. Kyle's gonna start dragging a knee over here. <laughs> 
So let's talk about the suspension because now we're going to be getting into some twisty roads. As you can see, it's not that smooth of surface. So the front suspension, you have the inverted fork now. The back shocks are substantially larger. This suspension just, it just feels like it absorbs everything in the road, all the imperfections just so much better. When you go to apply a lot of brake, it doesn't feel like it's bottoming out. It doesn't feel like the nose of the bike is like diving all the way down like in previous models, previous years. And also that goes the same for the back. I just, I have not felt yet. Just feels like sometimes, you know, the back is bottoming out and it hurts your spine and your, and your butt. It's just a beefier, more substantial suspension. It's a higher quality suspension and it works fantastic. We're just hitting some major twisty turns for that photo and video shoot and it just handles so well. Like I'm telling you now, you there is no need, no need for upgrading the suspension on this bike. I mean, as far as putting a different shock on the rear, I wouldn't change the front obviously because it's inverted fork. It, wor it works really well. As far as the back, if you ask, oh, would I just, should I change out just the rear shocks? Honestly, I wouldn't. Let me tell you something. I think this is, the suspension's great, don't get me wrong, but I think the braking, other than obviously the styling, the massive styling changes, the braking is the one biggest, biggest thing I notice on this bike. It has the Brembo four piston calipers. It has 320 millimeter discs in the front. It has, uh, I believe the Brembo two piston in the back with a, I'm not sure if it's got the bigger disc, but oh my God, the stopping power on this thing is literally night and day. I'm, and I'm not joking. It's, it's stopping power is night and day compared to any other previous model. It is amazing. And in conjunction with the suspension being so good, it just, it works so well. It works so well. So I would like me, honestly, like I would love to have this braking setup on Mad Max. I would absolutely love it. So you have the linked brakes. So when you say you're doing 70, 80, whatever, and you start applying the front brake, you're gonna get, I don't know percentages again, but you're going to get a small percentage of that braking power, braking force applied to the back. And what's amazing is that if you start pressing on the back brake pedal, the link brake systems also work the other way. Whereas if you're going to apply like I'm applying now, like the back brake, like not even the front brake, just the back brake, look at it dropping the bike. It's just, it's amazing. Like I haven't even really been using the front brake, even at higher speeds. By just applying the back brake is unbelievable because of that link system. So again, it's going to apply most of the force to the back brake and then the rest or a certain percentage of the force to the front brake. And you can feel it. This, it's night and day. The braking system is remarkably better than on the previous models. I mean, I, I, you have to, I'm telling you, go out, if there's a demo day, go out and take a ride on these bikes. Like you feel so confident with these brakes. It's amazing. Such a smooth throttle. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is that massive, massive screen. I believe it's like 12.4 inches, if I'm not mistaken. This screen is just massive. So like, I like technology. Like, I, it's 2023, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, how long was Harley Davidson supposed to be keeping, you know, all that technology that we've had for so long and just not put something new out there like this screen where 
every other manufacturer you know they're doing that all these manufacturers are coming out with these gigantic large tft displays ah oh, just give me uh you know some gauges or you know i don't like this or i don't like that like you got to be in with the times you you need the new technology you know i want to be able to see my tack my speedometer the fuel the gas gauge is on the left i got the battery voltage right here on the right so i got my heated grips and i'll show you i'll go into the settings to show you how to turn that on i'm in sport mode right now so this is how you change right here with that mode selector button i mean it's it's beautiful i mean why would you not want this why you're showing you got the psi of the front and rear tire right you got your gear indicator right there i mean it's showing the speed um it's showing you everything that you need all in one screen and on top of that all right so now you got nav everything on one screen and do you know how good this looks like i'm looking at it through a pair of sunglasses it is so crystal clear it looks great it's high tech it's new age this is what it's supposed to be now you can't you know you can't even though we all love our harleys and stuff but it, it has to evolve it's got to evolve in so in some way you know but for the most part i think harley knocked it out of the park with all the styling changes and keeping you know most of the nostalgia there but as far as like um comfort aspects and because this to me is a comfort aspect creature comfort right and because you don't need any gauges whatsoever put don't tape all over i mean you don't need it but it's a creature comfort when you go on these long trips i want to see how much fuel i got i want to see how fast i'm going the rpms my tire pressure my my battery voltage my heated grips my modes the time bluetooth my signal i want to be able to see that so anybody that had that has a smartphone is going to want this i don't see how you could not you know when you're going on a long trip you got all the gauges there and now in sport mode i got my map in the middle and i'm always using the map because i want to see obviously you know what's ahead and stuff like that but as far as the screen goes man i i love it i love it i love the new tech let's bring up the map so i could show you look at that that's tour mode that is badass so now what happened is the back was cruise right when we were using the cruise setting on the display then i showed you sport with the gauges in the middle but now you got touring right so you got everything on the left and this is how it should be right it makes sense you got your drive mode right there you got your time heated grip indicator my man <laughs> Huge shout out to Matt, to PJ, to Jennifer for putting all this together. Just a fantastic time. So yeah, so we already talked about uh, the engine. It's a fantastic power plant, but another probably even bigger thing is that the heads are liquid cooled. So I'm gonna tell you now, I don't feel a lot of heat because of that heat drop with the cooling system uh, the reservoir is right there but you could definitely tell a difference absolutely like you're, you're not gonna have to worry about overheating the bike I don't feel any heat and it's a hot day out today and humid I don't feel any heat coming out to my legs and I'm telling you Robin and Q will tell you the same thing not a lot of heat coming off of the bike I mean it's, it's still hot obviously it's a motorcycle you're gonna feel heat on every single bike but not like the other models it's you could definitely feel um, a difference this motor is perfect for this machine for a touring bike like why would you want a 135 think about it now let's 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 talk about that because a lot of people a lot of you guys said oh they should have put the 135 in this thing it's not a performance bagger do you really want a 135 in this to get maybe 30 miles per gallon the main reason a great you know the bike is made for is touring to get great gas mileage you want to be able to go 200 220 240 miles on a tank 
um, because if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna be in situations where gas stations are far and few between. So it's, you know, listen, this, this, is, this is Harley Davidson. This is what they do. This is all of their engineers, you know, this is what they think about all day while I'm thinking about, you know, what kind of next YouTube video <laughs> I'm gonna be doing. They're thinking about the design and the functionality of this motorcycle. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's Matt right there. <laughs> I love this bike so much, especially in the Whiskey Neat, you know, and the more I'm riding it, this is the second time I'm on it, you know, the first time was during the commercial shoot and now the second time, but this time I'm really, really starting to really love the bike because we put about 140 miles on today and I'm noticing obviously you know all of the stuff that i've been talking about and the comfort uh, of it the comfort aspect and uh, the ease of use um the braking and so forth i mean you know to be perfectly honest with you if you purchase like uh, a special and still wanted to add a whole bunch of stuff meaning say stage two power or suspension and braking and you still you wouldn't even get the infotainment system but all of that you would be spending more and i know a lot of you guys spend probably put in at least 20 30 40 thousand dollars into your, into your bikes so think about it like you literally could have gotten a cvo a lot of those people are the ones that are saying ah oh, that's too expensive but yet they have a $35,000 special with $30,000 worth of upgrades onto it so I just I don't get that I just, that just don't make any sense but as far as me I don't know like are you gonna is it is it really for me I don't know I don't think so um, is it definitely is it in my future it might be I'm just I'm not I'm not sure that's all I could say, I'm not sure. All I could tell you is, I definitely, definitely love the bike. See like now, we're stuck in traffic, you know what I mean? So it's like a bike like this, with liquid cooled heads. You don't even have to worry. I believe also the oil cooler is bigger, you know, on the CVOs. And it drops the temps down quite a bit. But like something like this, where you're in Sturgis or down south during the summer, like you don't have, you don't have nothing to worry about. You got enough power, and now that the heads are liquid cooled, which is uh, kind of the most important spot to keep the, the uh, temps down, so you don't run into problems and blow your motor, are the heads. That's where it gets the hottest, and once you start reaching those like 400 degree temps, uh, that's when problems are gonna happen. Kyle's gonna wheelie the thing. Power wheelie. Let's go, oh, come on. <laughs> The exhaust sounds really good. It's quiet when you're sitting in the saddle, right? It's quiet. You can hear the exhaust, but um, I'll give you guys a sound clip. Listen, I'll hear it. It's, I'm telling you, it sounds good. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, it sounds good. This is where we're bringing the bikes back to. cool is this guys look at us huh do you imagine could you imagine them in back in 1903 right rolling the first bike out of here think about it <laughs> that's crazy
tell me that doesn't sound good for a stock car or a stock, stock car, yeah it sounds fantastic but honestly know, and when you get on the gas like when you were in front of me you passed me it sounds good for us i think one of the better sounding stock harleys stock, yep. you know out there but yeah. obviously if you like it a little louder right as we yep. kind of all do yep. you're still going to wind up getting exhaust and pipes anyway but it sounds fantastic thanks brother Appreciate you got it man that. Check, check this guy out, riding and wrenching, my man. What a great guy, too. Get over there, show him some love, give him a follow. Thank Thanks, you, brother. brother. Appreciate, Appreciate it, it man.